I'm Robert Scoble, and we're at the Rackspace Studio in San Francisco, and we're seeing a, a yet another great startup. This one used to be called Page Once, and they're switching to Check, but they're uh, all about payments, uh, you know, taking care of your bills in daily life, your garbage bill, your phone bill, your uh, you know, power bill, and uh, other bills, and uh, we're going to talk about what they're doing and why you need it right now. So who are you? So I, I'm Steve Schultz. I'm COO at Check, and uh, I joined the company about um, two and a half years ago. But uh, Robert, I spent most of my um, career bringing together software and financial services. Very cool. So I was uh, leading Yahoo Finance before I came here um, to Check, and then before that, I worked in enterprise software, really working with financial services companies. Yeah, I I saw uh, Page once for Check. You guys are changing your name today, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I'm excited to show you our new name which is uh, check, uh, which we changed from page once. And, um, and the URL is check.me? The URL is check.me, and it's, it's, uh, it's really just a better reflection of who we are and what we do today. Um, you knew us back when we started, right? Yeah. Back in 2008. That's uh, the founders in uh, Tel Aviv. That's right, that's right. There was uh, the founders and, and our R&D team are all in Tel Aviv. And uh, when we started, we had a data aggregation engine. It was very innovative. You could go and connect all this personal information about yourself into one place. So page once, one page really made a lot of sense. Yeah. But today we're a different company. We're 8 million users. We're doing over a million and a half dollars of payment volume a day. Um, and we're really focused on money and payments on a mobile device. And so the name check just reflects better kind of who we are and what we do and I think will help us you know, get to the next 20 million customers uh, more effectively. So you're not doing so much, uh, what I think you were a competitor to Mint back then, you know, where you were showing me stuff about my financial life, you know, That's showing right. me, oh, you, you spend too much money on junk food or whatnot. That's right. Um, and that, that Mint does that r really well, but you're all about helping me pay my bills electronically right from my phone. That's right. Like my garbage bill. So we've, we've taken personal finance and we brought it together with payments. So, you know, when you're out spending or, you know, whether you're paying a bill or you're buying something at a store, you're, you're making most of your payments blind. You're just swiping. You don't really know how much you have. So the idea of knowing what you have before you make a payment is what we're bringing to the table, this combination of personal finance and payments. Got it. So I think it's... So, I, so I, when I get a check, I, I put in, what, my credit card uh, um, accounts? Yeah, And my right. bank account, my, my check account? And then I put in my bills, like my gas bill, right? That's right. That's right. And how do I do that? Do, do yeah, you know, yeah. PG&E sends me a bill. Right. What do right. I have to do to right. make that bill be electronic? So um, you can do one of two things. And um, the first one is where we really focus. And the second one is where we're, we're um, spending more time. Let me explain. Um, first, you can have a username and password at PG&E. Right, so if you have a username and password at PG&E, you provide us that username and password, and we take care of all the details from there. We go get the data, bring it back, and, and present it to you in a nice format. On I gotta device. remember, people around the world are watching that PG&E is the local gas station. That's right. <laughs> you know, That's so right. If you're in India, you yeah. don't have PG&E, you right. have some other uh, right. regional uh, electric company or gas But it's, you know, it's PG&E, or it's you know, your, wireless self, you know, your wireless company, your credit card company, your garbage bill, you know, and we support thousands of different bills, bank accounts, credit unions, cre credit cards, et cetera. The, the second way that you can get something in is by knowing your account number, yeah. right? So if you don't have a username and password to, you know, your local utility company, give us your, your, your account number and then we can take care of, of, a, of a payment and presenting the bill to you with, with just the account number. And so that's pretty limited today, but we're really starting to roll that out and get more aggressive with so it. So I bet uh, if you were a normal person, not a tech geek like me who wants to try everything new, like these yeah. Google Glasses, uh, there's a lot of fear. There's two fears that I have with your service. One, is it, is it accurate? Does it actually pay my bill and get it done on time? Yeah. You know, Because yeah. uh, I know if I uh, FedEx a, a check, Right. or uh, right. do it via registered mail. It gets there yeah. and, and I know it. That's right. Um, so that, that's one thing is does it get paid? That's right. And then the other thing is, man, you're, you're asking me to put all my financial passwords into a central place, which means 
I live in fear of getting hacked, you know, That's right. of you getting hacked, and then all of a sudden all of my financial data is going to be in the hands of one person or right. really one set of hackers. Great points. Um, so first, and I think one of the, uh, I'll, I'll cover those in, in sequences, you know, data quality is critical in financial services, right? If you don't have the right data, um, it, there's no point in having a great app, right? Yeah. So um, we built a data aggregation platform that um, um, we own and control and manage, which really makes us a principal in the data space, which is really, really important because if the data is wrong, we can fix it. Yeah. We don't have to go to a third party and kind of wait in line and, and, and actually have them fix it. Um, two, you, you're talking about speed, yeah. right? Like making sure the payment gets there, uh, it's accurate, um, and it gets there relatively quickly. And I can use this for a landlord or for a, yes. for, in my case, I have a, yeah. Uh, a house payment, right? I yeah. Can use it because if I if my house payment gets there later, there's a fee. That's right. That's right. Really so we pain. we position page once as a way to help cut those fees because it, your phone's always with you. Yeah. So we give you these bill reminders so that you can re remember to actually pay a bill. Most people have between eight and eleven bills that they have to pay on a monthly kind of recurring basis. It gets complex. So delivering those reminders all the time on the phone where it's with you all the time is super, super helpful. Yeah. And the payments uh, on page once are taking between one and two business days. Yeah. So um, you know, that is, is typically much quicker than most bank services or third party services. And we're working you know, really hard to make it as fast as possible because most of the time consumers are ex expecting payments on a phone to be real time. It yeah. exacerbates kind of everything. So um, fast, accurate, I think that covers your first two questions. And then the last point, is security, yeah. right? Is how do we protect this data? How do we make sure it's safe? And as a, as a company, we've raised $25 million. Uh, we put about 15 of it into the platform that we've built, which includes um, uh, full strength security. So we manage it ourselves. Um, so we have three layers of security. We have it on the, on the actual device where we have features that protect your app. We don't write any data to the device itself. So there's nothing stored on the device. Right. If you lose your phone, you can go to check.me and block mobile access to, the, to, to your accounts. You can wipe away your accounts anytime you want. So these are the types of features. Is there two-factor authentication? I, I know I use that with Google and with Facebook and uh, Apple now has two-factor authentication, which I highly recommend. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it really is I, a pain in the butt. I'm using it um, more and more on, e on email now, yeah. uh, two-factor authentication. Um, a lot of our partners, the banks, um, credit unions and credit card companies, use two-factor authentication and we support that inside of our app. Got it. So if your bank has two-factor, we emulate that two-factor through yeah. um, Check.me. For people who don't understand what two-factor is, it, it asks for a code that's, that's generated right. by your phone. And so if, if somebody tries to hack my account and they don't have their my phone in their hand, right. they can't uh, generate that code. That's and, right. and so there's a password and a code that goes in. That's right. and or gets there's a challenge question or some other kind of second layer to get, you need to give that information to get through and get into your account information. Yeah. Which so, is important for uh, money and for for email, right? And by the way, it, there was this wired uh, reporter that got hacked last year. Yeah, that's right. Because they got access to one account, then they that's got right. access to the next account, right. to the next account, to the next yeah. account, because they're all uh, right. you know sending passwords back and forth into email. Exactly. And so I'm the really email is, I really is live critical. in fear yeah. because I'm I'm so public, right? That people would love to attack me, but. It, it, Everybody lives in fear of their money yeah. disappearing yeah, and somebody right. getting ac access to their bank account. So the, the financial industry um, luckily has standards, yeah. very high standards that companies like ours have to meet. And um, so PCI, I don't know if you're familiar with PCI, PCI yeah. is payment card industry and there's a whole set of standards that you have to go through in order to show and prove that you're secure with financial data. Yeah. Um, so as a company, we have to, we invested in, uh, in PCI um, we invested heavily in encryption technology. We invested heavily in our own hardware, our own software stacks. We don't um, outsource any software at Check. So everything is owned, managed, controlled. We have our own data center. Um, so, yeah. and, and I, I visited that data center and you have to 
um, you know, use thumbprints and go through five different doors to actually get to a secure cage. It's funny. So I work at Rackspace, which has all these data centers right. all over the world. I've never been. You've never been. Yeah. Because they don't let me in. I <laughs> <laughs> they don't want people, That's me right. messing with people's data. I, right? I went there to prove to myself that it was really tough to actually get to our physical infrastructure. Yeah. So all of these investments are critical in order for us to operate, yeah. right? And make sure that we can tell users that your data is safe, it's secure. Um, we don't sell data. We don't share data um, outside of, of page one. So that, and, and last and, and the most important is never have a breach. Yeah. Right. So uh, we've never had a breach. We, we have um, full-time security folks. We have a team that all they do all day at page one is, I'm sorry, a check. I'm still getting used to it. Yeah. Uh, um, is, is security. So now we've covered that <laughs> because that, that's really important. I, uh, people like my dad are live in fear of this new world and, yeah. they, and, the, and that keeps them from adopting new, right. new technologies that could help them live their lives. Me, I'm willing to take a little bit more risk right. and try new things and things that are a little freaky and a little different, right? Um, so what does it do? What, 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 beyond uh, paying my bills, does it Great. do anything else? Yeah. Does it show I'm, me any trend? I'm glad you asked. Well, here's a question. <clears throat> if I'm broke this month, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are. Yeah. How do I decide? Can I can I decide which bill gets paid? Because I yes. have ten bills and I can only afford to pay seven of them. Can I prioritize? Prioritizing them? your bills, doing partial payments. Right. Um, you know, six. I, I was telling you before, sixty percent of, of of America lives paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. So this is not an app that does financial analytics and budgeting and super complex kind of um, money management. It's a very simple app that is based on how much money do you have and what do you owe, yeah. right? And keeping it really, really basic. And so can you see your credit card balances as well? So yeah, you know, so you, you can aggregate all of your credit card information across, you know, very, most people have two to three cards. Yeah. So they can see their available balance, uh, available credit, their current balance, their APRs, all their transaction details. Uh, so it's really easy to track and-, and uh, Let's see it actually. That okay, cool. Let, let's take a look at the, uh, at the app. So um, this is uh, this is check, and um, the the first page is 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 really a personal finance dashboard. Yeah. Right. So on the left side is what you have, your cash and investments, and when on the right side is what you owe. Now I have a lot of accounts already put in here from banking relationships, auto loans to all my bills. If you want to add an account, you simply press the plus button at the top and we support thousands of different um, providers. Here's a, a credit card as an example. I can um, put my username and password to Chase and link link that account to, to do, check. Do you show the cost of using a credit card, like the interest rate on yes. it? Because I, if I have three I have three credit cards, I don't even know what the That's interest right. rates on, a, on them are, but so it would be nice to know this one has a low interest rate for the next year, exactly. so use this one. So we do, we do way more than that, actually. So okay. we show you at the basic level, hey, what's, what's the APR on that particular card, yeah. right? But we also tell you, hey, when you get a finance fee um, or you get a foreign transaction fee, we're letting you know when, you, when your APR, your intro APR expires, we're letting you know 30 days in, in advance. Got it. So we're doing all kinds of things in the background that let you know about fees. Fees are kind of a key thing that we pay attention to because consumers are very sensitive to them. Yeah. So um, do you show rewards as well? Because some credit cards are really giving a lot of points or a lot of rewards for using the card, and we're some, some we're, aren't. We're showing rewards for um, less about the credit cards and more about um, you know if you have a Starwood account. Yeah. And you want to know and keep track of your Starwood um, balance points. Got it. Um, we're keeping track of specific programs that, that our customers are, okay. are, want to follow. Because I, I have friends who get free flights around the world by using s different credit cards. And That's they right. Have, they really wor play a game at that almost. You know, uh, Andrew Hyden was showing me how he moves money around from card to card to uh, get the maximum rewards out of the I cards. I think the <laughs> key is, is to have <laughs> visibility into what you have, right? Yeah. Because, you know, you're getting paper statements or... Uh, you got to log in to three or four different websites. Here you can get most everything you need to make decisions in one app in one central place. Got it. Very cool. So, you know, those are the credit cards I showed you. You can view um, your various cash accounts, where checking and savings accounts, and you yeah. can drill into the actual transaction details like you see on your banking on your banking statement. So, it's a nice way to keep track of all the different transactions that you have. Now, bills is where we're really strong. 
And this is where there's a lot of complexity of keeping track of all this stuff. So this is a list of who I owe, how much I owe, and when it's due. Got it. Right, so a very simple um, list of bills. You can also see that and on you, a calendar. Do you have a good idea of how much cash you have left in your, in your checking account? Exactly, so here's, let me show you the, the power of bringing together personal finance and payments. Yeah. So let's actually pay that, we talked about Pacific Gas and Electric, the yeah. local utility here. Let's actually pay that bill. So here I can say, hey, I wanna pay with a credit card or a debit card or a checking account. Let's, look, let's go into those checking accounts. Here's where personal finance and payments come in. Now I can choose which account I wanna use and know how much is in it before I'm gonna make that payment. Yeah. Right, and so. By the way, it doesn't, <coughs> even though you are scheduling a payment, yeah. it doesn't automatically pay that, right? It, it just brings it up on your phone at a ske scheduled date and tells you this. No, it actually um, kind of gives it the app instructions to make the payment. I'll show you. Oh, okay. So you, you, let's say I choose that Bank of America. I can pay the full amount or, or a smaller amount. Let's say I want to pay $5 of that, that particular bill. I can send it now or I can schedule it later. Uh, if I want to schedule it later, I know it's due on the 9th of next month. Um, if I want to get it there on the 9th, I simply select the 9th. I'm done and I schedule it and I'm done. And, and to cover this again, this is w when you say it paid on the ninth, it gets paid on it the ninth. It gets your uh, provider will recognize. Do your I have the ability to yell at you if it ever? <laughs> yes, you do. Actually, you can cancel that payment. Yeah. Uh, between now and the ninth, um, actually, you have to you cancel between now and the seventh. Yeah. Um, or you can call us, um, and we have a sixteen by seven. Um, um, call center that just in case anything goes wrong with your payment, you can call a human being and we'll help, we'll help you take care of it. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it, it seems pretty, pretty good. This is a free app, right? This is a free app. So how do you guys get paid? So we get paid in two ways. Uh, we do lead generation where, um, you know, we have a lot of data about people. So when we see that you have a credit card that's 21% interest rate and you're paying fees every month, we'll recommend to you a different card that has 0% intro APR, and you can actually save hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars a year by switching to that card. Oh, that's really We great. only get paid if the user goes and gets the card, okay. based on our recommendation. Got it. So um, we have a high incentive to kind of get it right for the user to recommend the right products that they're gonna actually add value into their life and save some money. Very cool. That's number one. Number two is, is a transaction business. So. Um, the, the payment I just showed you is a free payment. Um, if you pay from your bank account, it's free. If you pay with a card, it's a premium payment. So if you want to take a, you know, use a credit, a lot of billers like PG&E as an example, don't accept credit cards. Yeah. So you can't pay with a credit card. So if you are short on cash, you need to get that payment there immediately. Um, you can use a credit card on page once and we charge a premium fee, a service fee on top of your, your bill to, to get it there. Can I use it for PayPal st style stuff, like p passing you a hundred bucks to pay you, pay you for lunch or something? Yeah, can I, um, so well, let's try that actually. I wanna pay you. So, um, <laughs> uh, so we have a capability because a lot of people have local bills, yeah. right? Local bills are things like your rent, your preschool, your babysitter, your piano teacher. And yeah. these are you know, kind of um, bills that typically aren't done electronically that people write checks, yeah. right? And so we're trying to, um, be a replacement or an alternative to the old world of paper checks. So let's say you're my landlord. Um, this is, I'm gonna pick a small biller. I simply um, say, hey, it's Robert. Uh, I'm gonna pay Robert. Um, you publish all your information mm -hmm. quite publicly, right? Yeah, so I good. can put your uh, cell phone number in. Sure, 425. 425. 205. 205. 1921. 1921, okay, so um, that's, uh, that's you. That's you. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna say it's the, let's say it's the May rent that I need to pay you. Yep. Um, there I'm you go. I'm such a slumlord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it drops me right into the payment process that we just went through. Yep. Same one, here's, your, here's your, your, your bank accounts, which one do you wanna pay? Or which one do you Pick want to pay Pick the Bank of America. That has more money in it. So, yeah, exactly. So my rent is, is um, way more than $5, but I'm going to pay you $5. And okay. I pay you the bill. You're going to get um, uh, a text message saying that I paid you the $5. And you can go and collect that cool. uh, that, uh, that Actually, it'll come payment. into my glass, which is, oh, it did. Oh, it <laughs> That's did. weird. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Yep.
That's sort of so the first funny. time, as my landlord, you've got to go establish um, a, a biller connection to page once. Yeah. So that we can route money yeah. from my account to your account. Yeah, here it After that first time, here there it is. After that first time, um, I can simply, you know, just do recurring payments to you and it goes from my account to your account. Yeah. Seamless. Very cool. Very cool. Anything else it does? Or? So, um, does it let I me, it, it doesn't really do any of the uh, budgeting or, you know, no. when I sit down with it, my wife and go, man, we're not saving any money. How do we change our lifestyle or, you know, any it, of that it's kind not of a budgeting app. And the reason we, um, uh, haven't focused on budgeting. It's not that it's not a good thing, right? Yeah. But you and your wife are maybe doing it once or twice a year, yeah. at most. Yeah. Um, we're trying to be a day-to-day -day financial utility so that it becomes instrumental in kind of getting stuff done day to day. Yeah. Um, and you know, there's a there's a certain and I'll say kind of a quicken audience, right? And it's it's five percent of the population who's super into you know knowing every detail and categorizing every time they go to the coffee shop or the grocery store, most people just need something really simple, Yeah. right? Something to keep them on top of um, their day-to-day -day finances. You asked me if there was anything else, and I think it's quite related to your, your glasses. Uh, well, let, before we get into that, yeah. can my wife and I share one account? So yes. we s both see the same That's thing? That's right. Yeah, so both and, of you can... And if I pay a bill, does it show up on her phone? That's right. And also, it, you're showing me iPhone. Is it on Android or iPad or any other device? iPhone, uh, Android. Uh, iPad. Okay. Those are the three um, primary devices that we're supporting today. Cool. Um, one of the cool things that we do, and I think it's quite related to your glasses, is uh, we have what's called alert streams. Yeah. So we have this alert stream. It's kind of like your financial um, news feed, right? Yeah. So when you have a new bill to pay, or you're low on your account balance, or you just blew through your credit balance on your card, yeah. it's going to send you alerts to to let you know. Um, and so these streams of information that we send you. Um, are really helpful to kind of keep you um, up to date on your okay. financial accounts without having to really try, right? That's the key thing. People, you know, I don't know about you, but most people don't want to spend all day paying bills yeah. and dealing with their financial accounts. So the more we can do the work in the background and deliver you relevant information that you need to know, that that's our main goal and our, and, and our job as, as Check. Awesome. Well, cool. And, uh, of course, somebody's calling me, so I'm going to hang up on you. Sort of weird. It's a new world <laughs> we're living in. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, tell me a little bit about the company. How are you guys funded? Because you've been around uh, what four or five years yeah. now, right? Yeah, we, we're 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 approaching our uh, our fifth anniversary of our launch. Yeah. We launched in the summer of two thousand and eight. We're one of the first um, several hundred apps on the iPhone. So um, you know, mobile is really deep in our history, and we're one hundred percent focused on mobile. We're um, about seventy employees. Yeah. Um, we're $25 million of invested capital. Yeah. Um, our investors are um, Silicon Valley Venture Capital, Morgan Thaler Ventures in, in Menlo Park. They funded Pate Siri. Right? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Patango Ventures in, in Tel Aviv. Uh, and then a, a number of um, Silicon Valley Angels. Very cool. So um, uh, beyond, um, beyond that, you know, I think the, the only other things that you should know about the company is, is uh, just our continued focus on, on mobile payments and, and finance. We launched these mobile payments about a year and a half ago. So we went from kind of zero payments to a million and a half a day. And so this is just starting. Yeah. Mobile payments, like it just started a year ago, and I'm really, I think it's awesome. I, you know, I, this is going to help me and my wife. Uh, live together a Stay lot in check. Yeah. Uh, that's what we like to say. Do, does it work on the web as well or just on mobile? It, it also works on the web. Okay. Uh, I'd say our, our showcase is really the, the mobile apps. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. We get it at check.me, right? Check.me. Great. Thank you so cool. much. Cool. Thanks, Robert, for having me.